Hi, my name is for Vinci House News Forecaster as well. Uh, weather forecast. Let's go ahead and talk about the conditions here that we're uh, dealing with here in the area of Cleveland County and all, of course, our cities surrounding. Good afternoon to y'all. It's been a wet day so far, but things are hopefully in the near future will be changing in our weather pattern, especially hopefully this weekend. We have a lot of special events that will be taking place. Uh, also, uh, we'll be talking a little bit about, uh, of course, dopamine levels, our topic for Friday night at 6 o'clock, and we'll be also streaming live once again. Uh, anyway, so let me go ahead and get to the local weather events as I switch to uh, my notes here that I just gathered. And I tell you, I woke up this morning feeling good and refreshed and participated in the Vinch House morning meeting through uh, Zoom this morning. Uh, but anyways, let me try to get this information out here if I can find it. I actually just, cook, just took a couple of notes, so, so bear with me here if I try to uh, find the page that I actually lost. <laughs> I tell you, right now, I can tell you right now, you can look right now on the Vinchel Skymax Doppler radar. Let me turn this down here in the background. Uh, this is a weather received from the National Weather Service. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the rain here that we've been seeing popping up here and there in uh, western part, high up in elevations of North Carolina mountains. Uh, and I tell you, it has been uh, a very wet one this morning. All right, so far, current conditions right now here in... Uh, uh, Shelby, North Carolina, 76, excuse me, 67 degrees right now. Winds are out of the north right now. Also, uh, humidity is just at 78%. Uh, also, let's check right now, Vinch House Doppler Radar. We're showing that right now into view. Uh, we have a lot of rain, uh, light to moderate precipitation right now. This, uh, coming from out of the mountains right now, and it's actually having a track of moving northeast around about 54 miles per hour. So these are actually little fast pacing moving rainstorms that are pushing its way through. We'll check in the area, Asheville, um, Hendersonville, excuse me, Hendersonville, Lenore, Boone, uh, Blowing Rock area. We're seeing this showers and storms move through your area right now. Very, like I said, very steady, fast paced moving storm at the northeast, moving northeast, excuse me, at 54 miles per hour. All right, <clears throat> we will continue on seeing these uh, the storms track here moving into the area. Like I said, it will continue on having the slight chance here, of course, uh, moving up towards the northeast and maybe clip here and there and here in the local area of Cleveland County as we've already seen part earlier this morning. Uh, of course, if you're out in the area of the Walmart Center there, uh, we experienced some showers and passing through off of I-74 or interstate of um, 74 business. Also, let's talk about some of the local cities that will be impacting uh, these storms. It should be approaching your area within, if you're in the area of Salem, North Carolina, expect the rain storm storms to move your area within the next 12 minutes from now. Uh, Sunnyside, uh, North Carolina, expect these rains to approach in your rear area within the next 14 minutes. Smoky Creek, North Carolina, is, uh, as we're saying right now, Virtual Sky Max Doppler Rail showing you the storm should be arriving here every for the next 26 minutes. Uh, Pinewood, North Carolina, expect the rain to move in your area out of the northeast if in 31 minutes from now. All right, if you continue, you'll send this flash of uh, Vinchow Scamax Doppler radar. And this is what we're seeing right now. You can see pretty much the heaviest is way up there, uh, just getting ready to cross the line, borderline into Virginia. We're seeing some very moderate rain showers right now. And again, these storms are showing a track moving towards the northeast. Uh, normally, here also in parts of uh, Rutherford County, earlier this morning, we've seen some uh, light to moderate rain showers here and there. Uh, so far, uh, accidents reported uh, limited right now, weather related. Uh, but I do tell you, some of the delays from President Trump expecting to be in Charlotte around about 4 o'clock. So we hope this rain event, I'm pretty sure they're monitoring this rain right now. So we'll hopefully he better have us 
a wonderful landing there in uh, Charlotte Douglas International Airport, where I think also he's supposed to take the speech as well inside Air Force One. So anyways, we're seeing that right now, just the delay we hear from WCNC TV station. Uh, they're also saying, like I said, the speech that goes on, uh, come through the air at four o'clock, around four o'clock this evening. <coughs> All right, and uh, let me just give you some heads up about some of the statistics right now that's coming in with the COVID-19 uh, statistics here. First, let's talk about the area of uh, North Carolina. Uh, now, this page, okay, let me find my date. Uh, data here. All right, let's just talk about here in the state of the United States. First of all, here are some of the locations, cases right now coming in out of California right now, 7,980, 7, uh, excuse me, 7,900, and uh, excuse me, let me try to repeat that again, 7, 700, 7,080, oh man, 798,000, okay. Texas, the state of Texas coming in right now, 7,554. All right, death toll in the state of Texas coming in at 15,455. New York, it stands as right now, 457 uh, uh, cases right now. And this is 457,000, excuse me, and 32,691. Georgia. 293,606, uh, excuse me, 6,620 uh, new death cases just been coming in. Uh, also for worldwide right now, September 23rd, uh, 200, uh, excuse me, 22, 200, uh, excuse me, 222,256. Uh, new cases just come in. Also, the death toll right now it stands at nine hundred and seventy-seven thousand. Uh, also, here's the new cases for September twenty-third comes in at thirty-one point nine million. Uh, let's also look into uh, worldwide Colombia uh, seven hundred and eighty-four thousand. Russia coming in at one point. Uh, excuse me, 1.13 million. Also, Brazil coming in at 4.63 million uh, new cases. Also, India, 500, excuse me, 5,000, excuse me, 5.73 million. Okay, death toll, whoa, it's way up there, so I'm not even going to talk about that number, but anyways, let's go ahead and tell you, it is actually 2,091,000 147. Uh, also, Brazil coming in as well at 139,000. Russia death toll rate is 19,948. Also, Colombia death toll rate is coming in at 24,746. Hmm. All right, that is your currently data that's right now that's coming in, uh, the statistics coming in worldwide and also here in locally in the United States. <clears throat> All right, like I said, on Friday night, Around about six o'clock, we're coming to you, streaming to you live once again to our audience on Talk Break with Ron. Uh, that that session we'll be talking about a special topic. We'll be talking about dopamine level and also the time you spend on cell phone and technology, especially glued to the screen. How can it affect you? You know, sleepless nights there. So we'll tell you more about that coming up on our Talk Break with Ron session tomorrow around about six o'clock. Uh, this is all the information I have for you right now. Here's the last check on the venture out Skymax stock. Oh, excuse me. I want to tell you where there's a possibility we could go back into fate. We can go into phase three in the month of September. So in the middle of the month, I mean of October, rather to say, uh, we also hear a press conference that took place with the governor and some of the leaders there in Raleigh. Uh, now, we're really hopefully that will take place very soon because doors of a vent house is right now is continuing on 
remain enclosed, but they say when we go into the phase three and also have to take place to send another neighboring clubhouse, maybe up in Hickory, if their doors open up, yes, there are possibility of Vinch House doors will be reopened. <clears throat> Uh, of course, this organization and this program, I'm very thankful for Tommy Gunn to allow me to reach out to the uh, Vinchow's uh, members as well. This program for Vinchow's newscast is devoted for the members who deal with mental illness, not only just our members, but people on the outside of, of Vinchow's, is, of course, known worldwide, uh, people who deal with that. So that's what Event Shouts Daily Newscast is designed for, the purpose of getting the news out there uh, to be aware of mental illness. Not only that, we have special events that goes on. We're just now starting up getting more information programs to air live here uh, dealing with mental illness. So in the past, yes, I can say I have been a little bit short in putting information out there designed for uh mental illness topics and also other various topics in that area. So, but I want to tell you, for me, I want to continue on uh, keeping up with uh, the news. Of course, some news, but not covering everything. Uh, the weather, also a couple of special events that will be taking place here in Cleveland County and also parts of other neighboring counties. Uh, there will be, of course, a couple of uh, events that will be taking place this weekend. We hope and pray there won't be actually a rain out event. So we get more on that as well. Vinch House has been also, let me tell you, Vinch House has also been having some uh, morning meetings been taking place Monday through Thursday. Uh, this takes place around about 10 a.m. on the app Zoom. So if you can download Zoom to your desktop computer or your phone, uh, surely they'll love to, you know, join in and participate and uh, you know get an update of what's happening now uh, even though you know we're not allowed to be around our friends right now at the venture so this app here with zoom will be a good opportunity to to see your friends you haven't seen in a very long time and get up to date with other uh, uh, things that's happening around the world all right i'm ron owens with a house daily newscast uh, thanks for making this your number one choice for news. And uh, join me hopefully tomorrow at 6 o'clock on Live Now. We'll be streaming there again, uh, Talk Baby Run. So you have a great afternoon and evening to you. And make sure you watch your local news station for uh, the um, President Trump making an appearance here in Charlotte. It's to be, uh, I think, the 14th visit or something uh, today, this day. So we'll hopefully that you are Stay tuned and also uh, got some games coming up this weekend and hopefully you'll be able to get out there and uh, go to the nearest game that you're uh, accompanying there. So your favorite game and wonderful outdoor, outdoor activities as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here right now and you have a wonderful afternoon. Until then, see you later.